Hey, Ray Delvecchio here from WebsiteProfitCourse.com. I've been working with WordPress for over a decade, and way back in the day, you had to learn CSS code in order to customize your website. Nowadays, most themes have enough options built in where you don't have to learn it if you don't want. But if you're a little bit of a control freak like I am, I like to have the option of adding CSS. And like most things WordPress, you can do the simple task in multiple ways, but it's been complicated with the introduction of block themes like 2023. Before, you could use the Appearance Customize menu, but now with block themes, that's missing, and you'll see the other options missing as well. I know that confused a lot of people because they go to the Appearance menu and they see that those options are no longer there, but that page, that Customize page, still exists. You just have to access it through the URL directly. So if you're using a, an older theme that still has that menu, you're going to want to navigate to the Customize page. Otherwise, you can go to the URL and just type in wpadmin slash customize.php, and that's going to take you to the customize page. And this is where you can add your additional CSS. And if you do have a block theme, you're going to see that warning message that tells you your theme supports editing with blocks. So that's method number one. Now, if you're using a block theme, you can access the additional CSS from another menu you got to go to the Appearance Editor, and that's going to bring you into your Template Designer. And from that Template Designer, you can click into one of the templates and go up to the Styles menu. And then you're going to want to hit that three-dot icon, and you can click the additional CSS. This is where you can paste in your CSS. And the last method, it's a little bit more technical, but it's a great way to customize, and that's create your own WordPress plugin. So I'm showing you a little clip of a tutorial where I give you the exact step-by-step -step process to do this. And basically, you're using PHP code the same way that you would within the functions.php file. And you're enqueuing the CSS the proper way. And that gives you the ability to just write CSS code directly within a code editor. You can see that I'm using Notepad++ here. But you can do this outside of the WordPress backend. Update your CSS code and then just upload it via FTP to your web server. In this example, you can see that I'm setting CSS variables to set the color at the body level, which I can then apply to any other elements that I'd like. And when you upload it, you just go to your plugins page in the back end, and this is where you can activate it. And then once you activate it, you just go ahead and make the changes on your CSS files and re-upload it and overwrite it, and you'll be good to go. It really helps to understand the entire WordPress ecosystem. And to help you do that, I put together a free WordPress training. You can check that out at WebsitePropticCourse.com slash WP101. Now, if you enjoy working with WordPress the same way that I did and want to take your skills and start freelancing, grab my cheat sheet, 15 tools to start your web design business. You can find that on my homepage, WebsitePropticCourse.com. Last but not least, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any problems along the way, you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And lastly, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see all future WordPress tutorials and web design freelancing videos. Thanks for making it to the end, and I'll link up a few other videos here if you want to keep on learning.